Hello, I'm Dr. Lane Peterson, and I want to take a few minutes to tell you about my book, The Expanded Dialectical Behavior Therapy Skills Training Manual, Practical DBT for Self-Help and for Individual and Group Settings. I've been practicing DBT for about 14 years, and I speak internationally on the topic. Over the years, I've used many of the great DBT manuals on the market, but also saw an opportunity to expand the available skills that we can teach clients to help them improve their lives. For example, most manuals out there don't give a complete discussion of dialectics and how clients can apply dialectics to balancing their emotions, their thoughts, and their behaviors. So I added in a module on dialectics. I also added in modules on shifting cognitions so that clients can evaluate their thinking, notice when they're stuck, and expand their views on certain situations so that they can choose behaviors that are going to be more responsive and more effective. In addition to dialectics and shifting cognitions, I really focused on modules that have to do with building routines that are helpful for clients so that they can have the type of structure in life that's going to lead them to um, build a life worth living, if you will, or to build a satisfying life. Skills that help them to recognize and practice effective boundaries, and also skills for problem solving so that clients have a model for problem solving that really fits with their values so that they can come up with a solution that is going to build self-respect. Of course, these additional five modules that I've talked about are in addition to really having fresh updates to the original Linehan modules of mindfulness, distress tolerance, emotion regulation, and interpersonal effectiveness. When I wrote this book, one of the things that I noted about other workbooks was that either they didn't have much explanation for clients about the skills, or they had very lengthy explanations. It was a lot of text. And so I really tried to dialectically hit the middle ground and have enough text to explain the skills adequately so clients could get started or even use this as a self-help manual, but not so much text that people would get overwhelmed by it. In doing that, the therapist and the client can start with some basic ideas, but there's still room for expansion on those ideas, too. I also added in brand new worksheets. Of course, worksheets are very helpful for clients to take the, the skills and, and be able to apply them in their lives and to bring back for you to give them feedback. In addition to worksheets, there are examples of safety plans and skills utilization plans as well as common clinical forms that you as a therapist might use in practice with explanations for the clinical policies that they support. The book that I've written comes from an evidence-based practice perspective. And by that I mean, rather than speaking about adherence to one particular way of doing DBT, I really wanted to present the DBT skills in a way that it can be applied across populations and across settings. So people who work in DBT programs will certainly enjoy and benefit from this book, as will their clients. But also, if you're a provider who is technically eclectic or integrative in your approach, I think that you'll find that this book will resonate with you, that you'll be able to take these tools and apply it to your technically eclectic palette. An evidence-based process, of course, is about not just meeting a minimum standard of empirical evidence, but taking the research that's out there and using your expertise to customize it to clients and to settings. And that's really my goal when I wrote this book, was to make it um, broadly applicable. So that's a little bit about it. Um, I hope that you um, check it out, and I think it will be a great benefit to you and to your clients. Thank you.